What up fam, welcome to another video. This is a what I eat in a day raw vegan version. And Cleo says, please like, comment, and share this video if you do like it and spread the love. <laughs> so every morning I start off with a 16, I think, 16 ounce glass jar of lemon water. Um, I used to do like warm lemon water and now I'm just like, ah, forget about it. I'll just do regular <laughs> room temp water. And I don't know if this is just me, but I totally uh, let the sun download any, you know, high vibes into the water before I drink it. <laughs> so moving on, after I finish that, I wait a bit and then I'll have some celery juice. And this is organic celery juice. Depending on how I'm feeling that day, I'll have either one or two bunches. Um, usually makes it between 16 to 18 ounces of celery juice. Um, trying to get into the habit of doing this every morning. It does not happen every morning, but... I do my best to, you know, enjoy celery juice as I can, as much as I can, because, oh, yeah, it's it's a flavor. <laughs> if anyone else out there is following any medical media protocols, you know how highly um, celery juice is revered in the medical medium community. So, yeah, I've noticed some interesting uh, benefits from it, so I'm going to keep doing it. So here I just water and then wa washing the water washing the celery drying it cutting into smaller pieces because it's easier for the juicer um since celery is like what is that fibrous yeah here's my juicer it's not a fancy juicer and as you can see there's not much room in my kitchen i have a very small place guys not a lot of counter space at all and you can see all my amazing fruit i want to be that raw vegan who has just like fruit everywhere like so that's attractive attractive attracting the eye voiceovers man so here I am just juicing that celery um I don't have a fancy juicer as I said this one my friend actually gave me shout out to a set thank you so much a set I yeah needed a juicer and so um I've been using this one I don't even know the brand but it does a decent job I do notice that there's still like juice left over um in the pulp which such a waste of money <laughs> but I'm manifesting that now I'm a juicer, guys. It's gonna happen. And then once I'm done juicing, I will strain out my juice. Just cause, you know, don't want those uh, little floaty things. Just showing you here how much it produced. And then Cleo obviously has to be by me at all times. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that cat, but she just loves watching me do everything in the kitchen. <laughs> And at first I didn't want her on the counter because, again, we don't have much counter space and uh, cat hair. But I gave up. I did. And that's okay. I've accepted it. <laughs> so then I'll just pour the juice into my mason glass jar and drink it up. Obviously Cleo's got inspected because that's what she does. Yeah, the flavor's not the best, but, you know, I'm getting better at it. I promise. And then this is just me trying to distract myself from the celery juice by dancing, because, I don't know, I love dancing. So then, like, I don't know, 20 minutes after that juice, I'll start prepping for my another, my another, another juice. Um, every day is different with my juices. Uh, but this day in particular, I used organic lettuce, uh, I was at cucumbers, apples, a lemon, and ginger. This is pretty much, these ingredients are like the most common I get. Oh, I guess I use carrots a lot too, but I didn't have any. These I use a lot in my juices. So yeah, just chopping them up. I make sure I wash them all, honestly, first before chopping them and then prep for the juice. Juicing is a, it's a lot. 
a lot of prep work, a lot of um, cleanup, but you know what? It's worth it and I know my health is worth it. So I honestly love the juicing and it's become quite a habit. It's like, it just becomes like a, you know, a spiritual practice, spiritual ritual, you know? That's how I make it work in my life. Cleo again has to watch and uh, supervise this process. Maybe she's just learning or wishing she was human. I don't. I don't really know. Here I am just straining that juice because, like I said, gotta get that smooth texture. The color of this one actually was like really pretty. <laughs> I always love juices that like the color just turns out so vibrant. And this is me trying not to spill because Cleo's in the way. But I did it! Yay! Yeah, this one was a winner. Super yummy. Love the juices. Cheers, guys. Okay, so I don't even know what time this was, but since I'm basically intuitively eating, it was the time I got hungry next. <laughs> so I decided to prep for some smoothies, and I love um, orange juice in my smoothies, and these are just ripe bananas that I use, and this organic tropical blend. Yeah, guys, I don't have a Vitamix. I am not raw vegan without a Vitamix or dehydrated for that fact. So I do my best in this little Nutribullet that I got from my sister. So sometimes, yeah, I gotta make double the amount because it is so freaking small. <laughs> um, but yeah, I usually always use bananas in my smoothies. I just love bananas. Um, and the darker, the better, you know? Red bananas are the, supposedly the easiest to digest. There, I am putting my frozen fruit in it, and then as you can see, I literally just pour it out in a bowl and put to the side because I'm doubling the recipe so I can make a larger amount. Here I'm pouring the fresh orange juice. Oh, I love orange juice. I'm, my mouth is literally watering right now. <laughs> also a fan of maca powder. I just love the flavor, so I added the rest of that into the smoothie. I don't always have this every morning. It just depends, but... Um, yeah, I love the flavor. I don't even know if it does what it needs to do as t in terms of its adaptogenic properties. I hope that's correct. Okay, anywho, here I am, just, you know, blending away. Letting the Nutribullet do its magic. So I'm pouring that into a larger jar so I can blend the rest of it. I don't like super cold smoothies, but I do like, uh, yeah, clear, Cleo clearly likes to just <laughs> inspect everything. I like to put some frozen fruit in my smoothies just because I like a little bit of having like somewhat of a cold smoothie, if that makes any sense. Sometimes talking is hard, guys. Okay, how to add my fun straw. These are like silicone straws. I love them, and they just make eating smoothies or drinking smoothies fun. I'm loving that tropical vibe in my smoothies especially since it's getting hotter. Ooh, so these were some blueberries I picked um, the weekend before at the flower fields in Carlsbad, California. Me and my friend did some blueberry picking, which was so wholesome. And this is just an organic mango. I forgot the name of this one. I think it's the Kent one. Oh, so juicy, so vibrant. Look at those colors, oh my God. Yeah, I love mangoes. I think that's like one of my top fruit, so FYI. And then there's just, you know, me and Cleo being me and Cleo. Okay, then I got hungry again, and these are basically just snacks I, I'm having before I wanted to make <laughs> lunch. Um, I'm putting some applesauce in a bowl with some more of the blueberries and then cinnamon because I love cinnamon. Um, I was always a fan of like the cinnamon applesauce growing up, so this is just like my tip, I guess, with blueberries. And I love uh, blueberries that are room temp, guys. I don't know why. Blueberries and strawberries room temp are just like the jam, my jam. Okay, so I made another smoothie, just because, you know, why not? This one had bananas, blueberries, mango, and just some water. So pretty simple. It's always fruit. And I was cold inside, drinking my smoothie. So I went outside to read some... This was probably like mid-afternoon. Um, I wanted to use this, like, tzatziki, is that how you say it? 
yeah, tzatziki dip and make it into like a dressing. So, I mean, this is gonna be a high raw meal, but that's okay. I cut the lettuce up. I love lettuce, guys. So yeah, gotta get my greens in. Cutting up some organic cherry tomatoes. Cutting up some dill. I am obsessed with dill. It's a great herb. And I just love the flavor of it, especially in salads. I'm just putting that into the tzatziki dip. The tzatziki dip is like super minimal ingredients. Um, vegan plant-based, obviously. I just want to jizz it up here, so I added some more lime juice to make it a little more liquidy. Give it a good mix. Here I added some sweet orange bell peppers. And then I wanted some healthy fat, so I added some avocado. This was like a really tiny avocado. I have the worst luck with avocado, guys. I should manifest that though, but I, seriously, I've been having the worst luck in terms of their ripeness. Uh, now I just added the dressing, dip turned dressing, and then mixed everything together. I'm a huge fan of creamy based salad dressing, and this one was a winner. Okay y'all, dinner time. I'm going to be making a marinara zoodles pasta dish with some mushrooms on top. So first I just cleaned the mushrooms really well and I take off their stems. I think these were, what are these called? The button mushrooms? I don't like their stems. So, sorry stems, but yeah, I'm just roughly chopping them now. Please do not make fun of my chopping skills. I am not an expert, but you know what? I still have really good dexterity when it comes to knives. So, chopping up the mushrooms into pieces. I really do like shiitake mushrooms the most in terms of like raw stuff, but this will have to do. I'm adding some gluten-free tamari. It's not raw. The raw nama shoyu soy sauce is not gluten-free, so I'm doing this one instead to stay gluten-free. I added some paprika powder, some cayenne, a little bit of cayenne for flavoring, salt and pepper, obviously. And then also adding some garlic. My favorite one, garlic granules. I love garlic powder. I wanted to sweeten it a bit, so I added some agave syrup, just a tiny bit. And then for the flavoring, sesame oil. You don't have to include this, but I like sesame oil. And once you add everything, just give it a good stir, making sure that all the mushrooms are coated. I knew we did this ahead of time if you really wanted to let them like marinate for a while, but I literally did this like 30 minutes. Um, or let it sit for 30 minutes while I, you know, made everything else because again, eating raw takes time, guys. <laughs> so here I am cutting the ends of the zucchini or squash, I don't know the difference. I think the, the yellow one is a squash and the green ones are zucchinis. And then I have this really cool device that I found for like a couple bucks at a store. It's literally just a handheld spiralizer and it's so easy to use. So I'm just gonna do that to all of the zucchinis and they look like this when they're done. They're kind of long, so I just kind of like to, you know, chop them roughly so they're more bite-sized. Um, textures, no, not like noodles, but you know, it's doable. And I saved the little ends too, just for um, later. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the sauce. So blending together some of the cherry tomatoes and then see that end of that zucchini? That's what I couldn't spiralize. I just chop it up into smaller chunks and add to the blender. It kinda, kinda becomes like a thickener. I also will use that in like salads. Um, you know, when I make salads, just to chop up some of the squash. Here I'm adding some sun-dried tomatoes. You can use some of the oil from this if you want or not if you're trying to stay away from oil. To you. Adding some lemon juice, trying not to get the seeds into the container because I suck at that, but you know, it's okay. Adding some more garlic powder. I get that garlic. Some cumin. Ideally, you can use some other things, like other spices that would give it that Italian seasoning flavor, but I didn't have other spices. Gotta get my crack in there, which is new to nutritional yeast. Also, can we take a moment to like, just admire this really cute spoon? <laughs> Wanna sweeten up a bit, so here I am putting a softened date. Taking out the pit, obviously, making sure there's no mold, because dates can tend to have mold. Okay, and now I just blended it up and that's like what it looks like and the texture is like kind of like a pasta sauce basically. So I'm adding just a bed of lettuce and then putting the zoodles on top. Now I'm adding the sauce. Again, it kind of looks like that chunky marinara sauce. 
as much as you like i'm really a fan of sauces so you know i'm gonna add the whole thing and then here i am adding the marinated mushrooms and you can add the juice from this too if you want some more flavor to your dish or not i'm just putting the mushrooms on top and i'm adding this little seasoning just for some texture and it kind of looks cool <laughs> makes me feel better about my display and that is the end result I what is it called like a marinara pasta dish oh and I just wanted to mention I was also cooking a fully cooked meal <laughs> for my husband during this whole time because I can multitask and I'm proud of myself that day because I made so much okay so I just wanted to do a taste test for y'all with the zoodles and yeah it was totally worth it super simple honestly and super delicious <laughs> and there's clear obviously thanks guys for watching i hope to see you in my next video hasta luego don't forget to comment like and subscribe let me know if you're also a raw vegan watching and i'll see you in the next video adios